Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about Hayward Wakefield Furniture. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Hayward Wakefield, a brief overview. Hayward Wakefield, like Herman Miller, and other classic mid-century modern brands, is best known for its furniture from the 1950s and 1960s. Despite the fact that the company was founded much earlier, its classic blonde maple and birch furniture is their most well-known and significant design contribution to the history of furniture. In fact, these hip and happy designs have become so popular in recent years that the company's current owners, the South Beach Furniture Company, have opted to recreate the iconic mid-century furniture today. Surprisingly, this minimalist, quirky furniture design has a cult following. The melancholy and beauty of these magnificent works of art are still felt today. So, let's look at what makes vintage Hayward Wakefield furniture so special. History of Hayward Wakefield Furniture In the 1800s, Hayward Wakefield was made up of two long-standing rivals. Both businesses specialized in wicker and rattan furniture. It wasn't until 1921 that the Hayward brothers and the Wakefield company merged. Hayward Wakefield Rattan Furniture, on the other hand, fared exceptionally well. This antique Hayward Wakefield Rattan Furniture can occasionally be found in thrift stores or resale shops. For the following several decades, Hayward Wakefield Company concentrated on manufacturing steel and wooden desks, theater seats, and school furniture for the majority of the country. They even came up with a new elegant rail seat design. The Paris International Exposition of Decorative Arts, which took place in 1925, welcomed makers from all across the Western world to participate. However, American furniture manufacturers, particularly the majority of mainstream furniture companies, were concerned. They'd been busy replicating furniture from the 18th century, after all. Hayward Wakefield took the risk of creating something absolutely without historical reference, perhaps spurred by this challenge and inspired by Parisian modern style in general. They did, however, intend to expand into overseas markets. Hayward Wakefield was successful in providing something for modern tastes in the 1930s. Streamlined case goods in blonde maple finishes from their new range have begun to hit the market. Wakefield Hayward style. The new look was trendy, interesting, and absolutely one of a kind. Where others have straight corners and jagged edges, Hayward Wakefield bedroom furniture bends. Hardware is frequently hidden or built into the drawer faces. Peg legs eventually took the place of fancy twisted or hefty balls and claw feet. It was a whole new universe for Hayward Wakefield, and the beginning of a new design era. These Hayward Wakefield dresses and tables featured a novel look and design that attracted a lot of attention. A blonde Hayward Wakefield vanity, for example, was frequently low and asymmetrical in style. It usually came with a large spherical connected mirror. Bedroom Furniture by Hayward Wakefield the majority of these ideas, of course, did not take off until after World War II. The bright rounded Hayward Wakefield beds, nightstands, and dining room furniture gained a pleasant new audience with the development of the suburbs and American post-war optimism. While many individuals preferred traditional, old-world designs from Pennsylvania House and Drexel Heritage, more daring purchases gravitated to Haywake's new spectacular designs. These new furniture designs had a clean, straightforward, and unpretentious feel to them. These new charming elements, which were not connected to tradition, worked in the modern home for informal, contemporary living. The 1950s were, of course, a golden age of consumerism, greater prosperity, and a completely new way of life for the middle class. Hayward Wakefield's blonde bedroom sets and Hayward Wakefield dining tables appear to be ideal for new suburban homes. Hayward Wakefield's brand talked of thrilling new possibilities, along with candy-colored appliances, blenders, and gleaming new Chevy Bel Airs. Refinishing by Hayward Wakefield. Vintage Hayward Wakefield furniture may be restored to its former brilliance with the help of Hayward Wakefield refinishing. Solid maple and birch wood make up the majority of Hayward Wakefield vintage furniture on the market today. As a result, anyone with a little time and know-how can quickly strip and sand down Hayward Wakefield furniture for future use. Of course, the majority of Hayward Wakefield's furniture is stained in a champagne or wheat-colored stain. Getting the appearance on an antique piece of Hayward Wakefield is rather straightforward. Like every market, the value of Hayward Wakefield fluctuates. Hayward Wakefield furniture has seen a significant price increase, as a result of the return of mid-century modern aesthetics, especially when programs like Mad Men have captured the public imagination. Hayward Wakefield dresses, 
and Hayward Wakefield vanities can be found in the $300 to $1,200 range, depending on condition. Furthermore, a set of vintage Hayward Wakefield maple, dining room furniture can cost anywhere from $200 to $1,200. On the other hand, a conventional Hayward Wakefield hutch might only fetch $200 to $600 on the secondary market. Please revisit these pages frequently, as we regularly update the feeds with current sellers offering Hayward Wakefield furniture for sale. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any special inquiries about vintage Haywake. We make every attempt to respond to emails and comments as soon as possible. Hayward Wakefield Furniture created lovely blonde mid-century modern bedroom, living room, and dining room furniture. Every day, many new clients are greeted with a smile thanks to the trademark rounded corners of vintage Hayward Wakefield maple furniture. You'll adore Hayward Wakefield's unique furniture designs for your home. View some of the most recent Hayward Wakefield prices, values, and sets for sale. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.